game day. It never gets old. For over 35 years, football has guided my life in the fall. The preparation, the players, the games, the excitement of what's to come, what's next. But some moments will always stand out. 30 years ago, I saw something that you could never expect. It was just one play in one game, but it has survived the years unlike any other moment in college football. Boston College, of course, is led by the most exciting player in the college game today, Doug Flutie. And their opposition this afternoon, the Hurricanes of Miami, the defending national champions. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I am Brent Musburger, and what a confrontation this should be. Boston College, of course. What were you guys thinking coming into that game? Offensively, we always thought we could score on anybody and we could move the football. I thought there was no way we'd ever stop them. Bernie Kosar was playing a terrific football game over there for the Canes. He put together a game-winning drive that matches Elway's drive, Montana's drives. It was obvious they're going to score. It's just a matter of how much time was on the clock. Bratton to the end zone. And there's nothing but heartbreak for the Eagles. We've got our bags packed. <laughs> I, I got to get back. What time's the flight? I, I, I got to get, get, get back. We never, ever imagined that you could come down with so little time left on the clock. 28 seconds for Doug Flutie and the Eagles. Back then, we called all our own two-minute plays, or I did. Right. The coaches have no idea what plays I'm going to call. <laughs> they have no control. The game is over for them. Sit down, take a seat, light up a cigar, and watch. Doug Flutie is down to his last at bat. So here we are. We come to the final six seconds, and something happens that gives you a big break here. You know, right now they're lined up. There's a defender over George. George's the middle receiver up top. But there was a flinch in the line. There was an inadvertent whistle. A flag was thrown. And we reset now. We line back up. He's over Gerard, And at the last instant decides, you know what? I'm going to drift out here. Now Gerard is uncovered. He'll be the first guy down the field. Flutie flushed. Throws it down. I thought I was out near midfield somewhere and just threw a line drive towards Gerard. Um, if I had known I had to throw it 65 yards, I, I know I would have put a lot more air on this ball. They probably thought I couldn't throw it that far, especially when I moved. There's no question. When I moved left to right, they froze and he went behind. Them. And when he falls to the ground, I see an official's arm coming in on the left. The arms go up and I start laughing. I mean, I'm chuckling to myself, looking for someone's arms to jump into, running around. I don't even remember that sequence. Caught by Boston College. I don't believe it. It's a touchdown. <laughs> the Eagles win it. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. I was quite honest when I said I didn't believe. It just kind of like poured out of me. It's one of the most remarkable football games I have ever seen. I didn't know who caught the ball until like 10 minutes later. Is that right? I threw, I assumed it was Gerard. I never made it to the pig pile. I was, I was headed in that direction, but I got lost. I was, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Does ever a day go by when someone doesn't ask you about it? I don't think so. I know the average is well over once a day. There may be a day that goes by where it doesn't come up, but uh, they're few and far between. One final thing, we still caught our planes. There you go. <laughs> I left the stadium that night for what was next. But I'll always cherish that moment and that player. Doug Flutie was blessed with a little bit of magic. Small in stature, big in heart, big in results. He gave us all a moment we will never forget.